In this episode, you will learn how the task closure lifecycle works. Here I have a pretty small CVI view with a tap me button. This button is creating an object instance of my class and it's calling a method increment with retain cycle. Let's see what's under the hood. This is a typical example that will create a retain cycle because we are creating a strong reference between two objects. In this case, I'm calling this self completion handler and this completion handler is invoking a value in this class, but we are holding a self reference internal in this closure, meaning that when we execute this with a dispatch queue two seconds later, well, this class won't be released from memory. And to demonstrate that, I'm adding this uh, set of prints. Here I'm just setting that the class has been initialized and this one has been deinitialized. So if this is executed, that means that everything is fine. Now let's run this and see what happened. You're here, tap me. That's it. Look how my state is initialized. The value has been increased by one, but we never got the deinitialization. So yeah, that's expected because we are creating this retain cycle. And since that we are not holding the reference to this object, we're supposed to release it without any problem, but that's not the case. Now, what is a typical example that you have to, or how to fix this kind of issues? Well, it's just the dance of weak self in, and then adding the guard, let self else return. Yep, that is a classic example. Now let's run again, and now I'll see how the app performs. Okay, if we tap again, my class initialized, value increased, and then the initialize. Yeah, because this is a weak reference, so Swift is just moving things away that uh, after the execution of this instance. Now, that is not the point of the video, but it's just to give you, you know, the context of what we're, what we're gonna talk. So this is a classic example again. Now, let's move on here because I have like the same example, but using a task. We have a, this task, increment task, that is creating a task object, an instructor task, and we are adding a task slip for two seconds and then we are invoking again the value to increase it, okay? So technically speaking, this task is holding a reference of this object. And well, as we saw, that's supposed to create a retain cycle. By the way, this is a method that we explore in a previous episode. When we talk about cancellation, you can take a look if you want to learn more about how to cancel an object. Let's then now review again. What we want is to check if it's initialized, then uh, comparing the value incremented, and then the initializing the object. Let's run this now instead of the previous method and now see what is going on. What would you expect? Maybe you're, you already know the answer because of the context of, of the video, but let's see. Help me. Yeah, is initialized. How is this happening? Well, it turns out that task object, yeah, is, re is holding a reference, a strong reference of this class. But task is managing its memory in that way that once the task is complete or is canceled, it will release all the reference about other objects. Meaning that basically in almost every condition, you don't have to use a weak self dance here. And this is great. This is one less thing that you need to worry about it. And you can focus on those bugs that you need to fix. This is kind of uh, the normal behavior that a Swift concurrency task is performing. Although I will say, just review the documentation that will be in the description below, unless they say that in basically 
on almost every every case, this is the way you need to use a task. So you just create a closure task and do whatever you want. You can put a self here and you will be good to go without worrying about memory leaks or you know retain cycles, etc. If you want to learn more about task, Swift concurrency, or anything about Swift, Swift UI, let me know in the comments below. That's it for me. My name is Pete, and this, this is Ivan Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.